Okay, we are looking at the back of my furnace uh, with the panels removed. Um, let me get you some light here. Okay, these are the burners for them. And if you look at one of the burners, what you'll see is a steel bar in front of it. It's very thin coming down. And the top of it is that white wire which goes into the metal frame there, which let me try to point that to you. It's right there. So usually there's a bolt or a screw that you can unscrew at the top here and then pull it right out through the top. Uh, not too hard on the wires, try to be very careful with the wires and don't pull too hard on them. Um, but with a fine steel wool or a scotch bright pad you can clean that. And if you're, it, it's usually when you have a problem with uh, the gas going on and then it shuts off before uh, the furnace actually kicks in, uh, that is usually the problem. Um, there is an easy way to diagnose that problem. Um, you set the thermostat so that you, uh, the furnace will go on. Once this bottom panel is off, this switch will not allow the furnace to go on until you actually press it, the one I'm pointing to now. So when I press this in, what you get is the furnace will kick in. Now, if your furnace is set higher than the actual temperature, it's, you know, about a degree or a degree and a half, it should actually turn the gas on. Uh, mine at this time is not in that state, so it's not going to turn the gas on. But, what's important for the diagnosis is, when you press this button, and the gas does go on, what you will see is two flashing LEDs. Mine are blinking about one a second at this time. Now, in your manual, there is a description of what the state of these LEDs mean. Mine, if it is the uh, flame sensor, the left LED will, sorry about that, the left LED will blink once a second, the right LED will blink three times a second. Whatever the deal, if you look in that table that's in your installation manual, which you should have, um, it will just, it will describe each and every state that is possible with these LEDs, uh, and it will give you a description of what the problem is. Um, so if you end up having to call somebody in, at least you'll have an idea of what the problem is, and whether they're going to screw you over or not. Um, but th this is a quick way to check that your sensor's okay, um, or if it's not, and that is a problem that you can easily fix, as I've shown, that one bolt that you take out of, to remove that sense, uh, heat uh, flame sensor at the back there, you should clean that, you know, once in a while, and again, never, never really use sandpaper, sandpaper's a little too rough, can leave, uh, uh, scratches that actually accumulate more dust. Um, the scotch bright pad definitely is the way to go or a very fine steel wool. Um, so if your gas is going on and shutting off before it actually kicks in the furnace and starts blowing heat, that's probably all it is. It takes less than 10 minutes to fix and you don't have to play, pay up to $200 to have a service dude in. So, hopefully this helps anybody out. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.